Itar is a fragrant essential oil that comes from the Persian word Itar, meaning essence. Atars find their origins in India and the Middle East. And Kannauj has been a hub for Atar making known worldwide. So the people of Kannauj have been concocting these Atars for over 400 years now. And from what I hear, there has been a growth in demand. So these people have now set up some really large scale distilleries to make the world a better smelling place. And today I'm here to visit one. In Kannauj, there is always a fragrance in the air because it is home to around 300 distilleries. Making others requires precision, patience and hard work. These methods have remained unchanged since ancient times. It seems like almost every house in Kannauj has a magician working in this industry. And these magicians have a lot of passion for this craft. When I think of the owner of a distillery here in Kannauj, I imagine this old man with a long white beard. So I'm very surprised to meet this young man, Mr. Varun Tandon. <laughs> Varun, how did you get into this old industry? So we just thought like we should bring this whole the Kannauj fragrance ka ecosystem into limelight. We should do something about it. That's why we started our own fragrance line. We need a lot of people like you, Varun. Do you think I can make my own atar and mix a lot of like everything good and make like that, you know? Sure, you can make an atar, but let me warn you, you won't be able to do a lot of mixing. You will have to choose like one, maybe one flower, something you like. The one scent that always reminds me of home is the marigold or the genda pool. So now that we have chosen our scent, let's start learning. First, the flower petals of choice are poured into this copper date with water. It is sealed with a special clean mix. I declare this as Dolly Singh's Atta. Then, a bamboo pipe called Chonga connects the dek to a bhapka that is suspended in the cooling chamber called Gachi. It's a pure extract, unlike a perfume which has like only a per percentage of a pure extract, this is a pure extract. But to get into more detail, I'll make you meet my father, he's like the science person in our team. Mr. Praveen Tandon is not only the science guy, but he has a unique talent. He converts beautiful scents into beautiful Poetry. Welcome to the city of perfumes, Kannauj. Tell me something, sir, now that you obviously know so much about this. What is the difference between an Atar and a modern day perfume? See, uh, the modern day perfumes are mostly synthesized, hmm. synthesized molecules. What do you do? is uh, take uh, three, four, five synthesized aldehydes and alcohols and you mix them, mix and match. So that is how it is made. But for other making, it's not so. It's a particular water distillation process. It has to go through power, proper distillation process. Only then it is other. By that process, we capture the real essence of national product. The cities of Dubai and grass may be regarded as the perfume hubs today, but good old Kannauj is believed to be one of the oldest centers of perfume production in the world. But what are the different kinds of natural fragrances that Kannauj produces? Kimura, Gulab Jal, Tamama, Matti, Jamedi, Kibla. You have to get the flavor of the flavor. You will get the flavor of the flavor. If you want to make a paneer of the flavor, you can also give it to the flavor. Cottage cheese, Atar? Now, I've actually heard it all. 